Radio waves. Radio waves. Radio waves. Radio. Radio waves have the longest wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic waves are periodic changes in electric and magnetic fields in space and time. They are propagated at speeds of light. At any point of the light beam, the magnetic field is always perpendicular to the electric field. But that's another story. We're here to talk about radio waves. Radio waves. Radio waves. Radio waves. Radio waves are types of electromagnetic radiation that vary in length of a millimeter or up to 10,000 kilometers giving it the widest range of wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic radiation is a pulsing stream of energy where the pulses are at a constant frequency. The wavelength is the distance over which the wave shape repeats or one complete oscillation. How does it work? Well, this is how it works. Radio waves are carrier waves. They are carriers of information and unlike sound waves, it is not a vibration within a medium but like all electromagnetic waves, radio waves are self-propagating. With radio waves, the radio transmitter sends out radio waves at a specific frequency, or a band of frequencies. The area of the receiver develops a tiny electric current in it as the radio wave flows past it. This is what's happening when you are listening to the radio, or you're watching your nice HD plasma in your nice big house, in your nice big neighborhood with your nice friendly neighbors. Nice, nice, nice. I like then what's AM and FM? Radio waves are made up of two main bands. AM, which is amplitude modulation, and FM, which is frequency modulation. They both travel at the speed of light. Oh yeah, you guys know what the speed of light is, right? It's 300 million meters per second. This is what my friend Lecrae would look like if he was traveling at the speed of light. Amplitude modulation is when a signal is added to an AM carrier wave signal by varying the strength of the transmitted signal in relation to the information being sent. If you're thinking, what? Don't worry, I don't get it too. The length of our fire signal goes depends on the station frequency, the power of the transmitter in watts, the nature of the transmitting antenna, and the ionospheric refraction. Ionospheric refraction is when the ionosphere, a layer of heavily charged iron molecules above the Earth's atmosphere, refracts the waves sent by a transmitter and the wave ends up hundreds of miles away from where it started. You may see this as a problem because they interfere with other waves in the same frequency but this is also an advantage as the wave can travel long distances if aimed at the right angle. Other uses except the obvious AM radio include AM radio, television, communication, military, broadcasting and the obvious AM radio. What about FM radio waves thingies? I was getting there, kid. FM, which stands for frequency modulation, is at a higher frequency than that of their enemies, if you like. The AMs. Their band goes from 88 to 108 MHz. The FM band is very different than that of their arch rivals, the AMs. They behave very differently. FM and TV signals are quite similar. They work in a line of sight, meaning there is no disruption or interference from other FM frequencies. Also meaning you can't be more than approximately 65 miles away from the transmitter if you want to listen to your favorite FM station or watch your favorite TV channel. That's why we have big TV antennas. Duh! Line of sight also means that they are sometimes reflected from huge buildings or mountains. Unlike AM waves, FMs don't bounce. They just leave. Leave. Chabang. Leave the earth. They're gone. Forever and ever. That's why I don't like AMs. They stick around like they own the place. <laughs> but how come we can still watch TVs when there's like big buildings everywhere and everything, you know? I don't know, kid. I... I just don't.